Hello there guys, welcome back to the video blog, The Hoxton Trend. Um, as always, bring you the latest reviews of stuff that I'm buying online or stuff that I'm getting in. In particular jackets, lots of stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> what I've done today, I've actually, well, at the beginning of the week, what I actually did is I purchased a whole bunch of uh, items from Size. One of my favourite places to be buying trainers um, online. Um, especially night trainers, love night trainers, especially stuff like Nike Air Max, which is my all time Nike Air Max ones, my all time favorite trainer. So, what I thought I'd do, I thought you know, <coughs> summer's coming, I need to get some more trainers in. So, what I did is I bought a whole bunch of uh, trainers. So, I'm going to do a quick unboxing, quick review, show you guys what I got from the size. I'm sure all of you guys know what who size is, but just in case you don't, just in case you're watching from somewhere other than the UK, size is one of the biggest. Um, um, sportswear retailers in the UK. It's actually part of JD Sports Group and um, they do lots of different trainers, different styles. They get exclusive colours in, in different trainers and stuff like that. So let's see what we got. As we can see here, got a whole bunch of night trainers in. Um, so what trainers did I get in? Well, <coughs> what I did, I thought I'd get some of my favourite trainers in. I'll show you what that is in just a second. Um, I like the way they package that as well actually. It was all safe, it was all well packaged so nothing could be damaged. Nothing worse than getting a package in and it's all damaged and the box has all gone funny or whatever. So so yeah guys, this is it. Got all these trainers in. Um, what did I get in? Well I'll show you. Riffs. Got a whole bunch of riffs in. I love riffs. Very comfortable, very cool. Um, I noticed that they had a whole bunch of colorways in. So I said, let me, let me have a closer look. And this is what we've got. So here you go guys, all these Nike riffs. I was actually looking at some reviews online about riffs actually and um, turns out that a lot of people from America don't actually like riffs, they think they're really really ugly. Um, over here in the UK riffs are quite popular, um, especially in Europe as well, riffs are very very popular. I just come back from Holland recently in Amsterdam and I saw tons of people wearing riffs in all different colours. <coughs> they were really big, <coughs> really big in the uh, mid 90s, um, late 90s, really, really big. And as I understand it, the riffs were actually, uh, the uh, they were inspired by Kenyan runners, apparently. And um, the name Rift comes from one of the main rivers over in, um, over in Kenya. And it was inspired by the athletes over there, the long distance runners. And they wanted to make a trainer for the team over there, the long distance runners in Kenya. And this was the original colorway for them here. It's got the uh, Kenyan flag colors as part of the colorway. This was the original trainer, the OGs, um, that were made for the um, original uh, running team in Kenya at the time. I think it was in 1996, so this was dedicated to them. So this is the original color here, and as you can see, they're very, very cool, very, very nice. Um, and <coughs> what they've done is they've actually done a re-release of Riffs um, this year for the as you can see you've got some new colours here. Um, these are actually women's riffs and you know what online they looked a bit more like looking at them here they look really really pink but online they didn't look as pink as this so they looked a bit more different so I, I'm not too sure about these ones now. Online I thought they looked a bit more because I would, I would be able to rock a pair of pink trainers but not overly pink like this, this is a bit too much but I, I, I guess it depends how you're looking to wear them but um, at least I got them in to have a closer look anyway. So just looking at the colourway here and the materials, this seems to be a bit more of a fabric, cotton or something type material in there. Let's just see if I can see on the inside. Still a nice colour. You just have to be able to rock these right. You couldn't rock these with too many colours because these are quite dominant. So you'd probably wear like a white shirt, like some beige shorts or something to go with these nothing overly colourful otherwise you could just end up looking a bit funny 
too many colours. So yeah, nice strong elastic material, very well made. Obviously you've got the split toe there as well, nice Nike engraved um, logo there. Uh, just looking at the stitch in there, look see, this looks to be a bit, a little bit rushed there. That shouldn't be like that, tut tut at Nike rushing their trainers because if we looked on the other side on the other shoe we don't have it so what have you been doing Nike have you been rushing the trainers probably um, yeah so very solid very nice trainer that's quite a cool colorway that colorway is what one is that that is a so these are called hot lava black vault lava glow that's the colourway there. As you can see, hot lava, black fault, lava glow. UK nine, made in Indonesia. Quite nice. Different, but too bright. Definitely too bright. They didn't look as bright as this. They looked a bit different online, to be honest. And that's what happens sometimes online when you see stuff. You see them and you think they're a certain way, and then when they arrive, they're not. But that's cool. That's why I like to buy from places like Size because. If there's ever an issue, I could just take it back there and there's no problems. So what's good about size is I bought these online. Um, but if I want to return them, I can just go back to the store and return them. And there's no problems at all with doing that. So that's a lot easier for me because I've got a size not too far from me. So I'm good. Okay. Also, I've noticed this seems to be some little stain there. So I'm not quite sure what that's about. But anyway, I think those will be going back. <coughs> Colour's just a little bit too bright for me. These are quite a nice colourway with the yellow. Very cool, just like the other one, very well made. So you've got this nice elastic um, sock material on the inside to give you that support. Again, obviously got the split toe there, got this Velcro attachment there which you can adjust and resize to make sure that the shoe is absolutely comfortable on your foot. Nike Air sign there, really um, really strong material for the sole. I really like the riffs, um, I've always been a big fan and what I like about riffs is they seem to be quite limited so they, it's like they release a few then they stop then they release a few in some limited colours then they stop so you don't really see too many running around and when they do release new colours once they stop you don't see them re re release them again for a very long time so that's quite cool because then they're quite limited you don't see too many people running around with them so that's what I like about riffs great and it's a great shoe for the summer I think I think if you're on holiday or if it's hot or you're on the beach you know these are cool would I use these for running <laughs> would I use these for working out nah I wouldn't use these for working out personally I mean fair enough they're meant to be a long distance running shoe but if you if you use this as a running shoe I don't think these would last very long at all I think these would would probably last about Two a month, two months tops, and the reason why I say that is because your foot sweats so much in this shoe. Um, so literally, when I when I ever get wrists, I don't really wear them for too long. I I just wear them. I go out, put them back in the box, and I don't bring them out for a while. So they're not an everyday shoe for me because they you just sweat too much in them and they just get ruined. So I guess some people use them like that, but but I wouldn't use them like that. Crystal Meth Noir. So what kind of these ones? These ones are black. Whoop. Got a phone call. Hello. Back again guys. Sorry got quickly interrupted there. But anyway straight back into things. So as I was saying yeah this shoe. Um, would I use it as a athletic shoe? Would I use it for doing sports? Would I use it going for the gym? I made the mistake actually of using using a pair of wrists to go to the gym one day and my foot goes so, got so sweaty it was just it just wasn't a good look and I just think once your wrists get sweaty then they'll start to smell then you just, it just starts to get long from there so I would rather use this as a casual fashion shoe just going around almost like sandals just going around in the sun and that's it I wouldn't be running around I wouldn't be jumping up and down I definitely wouldn't be running any marathon or anything in these that's just me personally Maybe other people have had you know better experiences, but I, I just wouldn't use it for that because 
maybe my foot just gets sweaty more than others. Who knows? But um, yeah, aside from that, I think these trainers look really, really cool. Um, as I was saying before, there was a review online where someone was reviewing some wrists and he got a whole bunch of negatives and a whole bunch of thumbs down and it seemed people, especially in the States, did not like this shoe at all. But you know what, over here in the UK, over in Europe, these are very, very popular. Yeah? So, I'll give these a thumbs up. Just looking at the colourway on that, this one is Crystal Mint, Black Bright, Crystal TTL. What a weird colourway. Size 10 as you can see. Not too sure about these colours, not too sure about the yellow. It's funny because I like yellow and I like blue, but I don't know if they go well together. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a sit and think about those. Not too sure about those ones. The original OGs, I like these. Plus they're meant to be the original, Ke original uh, shoe and they've got the Kenyan colours. So I'll be keeping these. Really nice. Very cool. Again, well built, just like the rest, no difference, just a difference in the colourway. But um, I really like these. I'm going to be holding on to these ones, guys. Okay, just try to give you a bit more of a detail on the shoe for those who haven't got any wrists. But yeah, I really recommend, recommend wrists. I really like them. They're, they're not, for me, they're just not a, sh a shoe that you'd wear every day. They're not an everyday shoe. I wear these once or twice, put them back in the box, forget about them, and I bring them back out. To be honest, that's what I do with a lot of trainers. I don't like to wear the same trainers every day, especially ones that are quite limited. I like to keep them in the box and then bring them out a couple of weeks, a couple of months later when you've forgotten about them. And it's a bit, it's a bit more special that way, a bit more unique. And they don't get, they don't get busted up, they don't get busted up so quickly. So yeah, keeping those ones, that's going to be a keeper. Put that to one side. These are really cool. I like these. These are women's. These are women's. But you know what? I like the colourway. It's got this kind of electric blue, greenish look, and the orange, and it's got this kind of a greenish forest green um, colourway here. I think these are wicked. I really like these. Really cool colour. I'm going to hold on to these. The reason why I'm going to hold on to these is because I know once these sold out, these sell out, you're probably not going to get this colourway again. So if I, if I bring these out and, you know, if I keep these and bring these out in about three months, chances are I won't see too many people running around with them. And these will go very nice with a pair of, uh, these will go really nice with those Stone Island jeans. Those Stone Island jeans that I reviewed earlier. These will go really well with those actually. Really nice colourway. Really feeling this colour in this dark green colour goes well with this colour on the outside and the, and the orange lining just to finish it off I think that's a nice touch as you can see here looking at the detail on the sole and everything there this again this is actually a women's colour but it did go up to a size 10 which is quite rare for women's usually women's I think go up to an 8 so yeah, lucky to get these ones really nice so that's that guys, that's, uh, that's the wrist special reviews, um, so it looks like I'll be keeping two, and two will be going back, but that's all good, sometimes you buy things online, they're not what you expect, you got to bring them back, so that's all good, okay, so guys, let me know, tell me what you think, was there, did you think any of the guy, any of the particular trainers, did you think some were better than others, did you think some were really bad, give me a shout guys, let me know what you think. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the review. And once again, that was from Size.com. Size.com, as I said before, really cool place to be buying trainers. Top trip, top tip for Size.com. What what I do sometimes is I go straight onto Size, go onto the sales section straight away, and look to see what trainers are on sale. And you can pick up some really good bargains from from Size.com if you know how to search for the sales section. Okay, guys. So that's a top tip. <coughs> that's it. Right guys, I've got to go, <clears throat> I've got a house party to go to, so you never know, I might wear one of my new riffs and my little Stone Island jeans to go with it. Alright guys, have a good evening, take care.